I just picked up some new fabric. I have this very overstuffed Fleischmann's bag, which is my favorite fabric store. So this fabric is meant to go over this one. But the problem is this is a stretch, like a jersey, I don't know. I don't know fabric names, but it's stretchy. And this is like a tool that's not stretchy. And this does look perfect. Like it looks like scales. So, oh my God, it's so perfect. But basically I'm just worried about how to make one thing not stretchy and like I do a different design for each. And then we have the collar. They didn't have a green one, but the more I looked at photos, um, hers looked pretty much just teal. This stuff is so soft, I love it. I'm laying in bed, it's like noon on October 29th. And I'm wondering if I should try to make my whole Halloween costume today. Okay guys, so it's the next day. I did nothing yesterday. Um, it's the day before Halloween. Don't have plans for it. I kind of just want to walk around. Um, so the only thing I've done so far is cut two of these front and back pieces. Um, you can see like a bit of a curve because this is really stretchy fabric. I didn't cut out a neckline yet because I'm not sure how tall I want the neck to be. This is with a one inch margin because I always like to give like a kind of extra margin. And these are both exactly the same. My problem, however, is still how I'm going to fit the tool fabric over top of it. Um, I can't decide if I should just sew this together and then do something else with the tool or... You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to have the tool be a completely separate piece on top because I do not want to mess with a stretch fabric and a non-stretch fabric together. Okay, so I'm just going to sew these up the sides and a bit at the shoulder and then get back to you with a fit. Oh my god. I already have thread in the exact color. This is it on the first try on. It's pretty see-through. <laughs> um, I need to figure out how I'm gonna make this like a turtleneck situation. And then I'm gonna definitely take the sleeves in cause I don't want them that far out and then hem it. But overall it's pretty good. I don't wanna buy a purple wig cause this is a budget costume, but I have this pink wig here. I am going to color in with a purple marker. I'm like an hour and a half into coloring the wig. Um, I've got a head start on the purple body paint for this costume. I'm like thinking I might just do an ombre look for the wig cause it was already pink. There's no way to hold this up to make it look good. It's pretty purple. Um, so yeah, I think I can make it work. Using a zigzag stitch is better because it can stretch whereas a normal stitch wouldn't stretch with the fabric. So on my machine, I'm using the number four stitch and I upped the, the length to 4.0. It was at like one something. Yeah, so I'm getting this nice like kind of long zigzag and it stitches really fast, which is good too. I think I'm gonna hem these in one more time cause it's like still too long, but I'm trying to think what I'm gonna do with the scale print fabric. If I made like a corset, like to go there, that could be really cool. Like those trendy ones. I feel like I can literally just wear this as a scarf like this and it'll stay on. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this look. Okay, so I have this old underbust corset that doesn't really fit me anymore, but I'm gonna extend the back so it does fit. And then I'm gonna cut out these panels and cover the whole thing with this material. So first I'm gonna cut out the panels on this. Okay, so here's the corset with the bra clasps cut off and all the fabric cut out. Before I sew this on, I'm gonna color the base to be black. I'm gonna use a Sharpie actually, because I don't want it to peek through this. Okay. As you can tell, I'm ruining my desk, but 
it looks pretty decent. I think it'll look good with the fabric over it. Um, haven't colored this part yet. What I'm doing is attaching maybe about like two inches of extra elastic and then reattaching this so it'll fit me because it was too small. Here's what the modified back looks. This is the extra part I put on. Um, and you know, I didn't measure, are you surprised? But I'm about to try it on and I'm optimistic. These parts aren't like fitting straight up like I hoped they would. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this and I'm ready to cover it with the fabric. So I just cut a piece like this and I'm gonna put it on the front and uh, bend the edges backwards then sew it. Okay guys, so this is how I sewed it on. Sorry, I didn't film it. Basically just like along the uh, lines. You can see it better on this side. Um, it's really messy on the wrong side, but I'm not really worried about that since this is just for a costume. Super happy with how it turned out. Um, look at those scales, they're so cool. Okay, and now I'm gonna put it on. Let's hope it looks okay. I love it. The only thing is, um, since I sewed it all with a straight stitch, the elastic like wouldn't stretch. So I had to kind of pop some of the stitches out so it would actually stretch. So pretty. The way the sparkles and like the iridescent scales go together. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm gonna put on the feather boa. Obsessed. I know I keep saying that, but I really am. Um, I love the feather bow. It's very like pleasing to the touch. So I guess the next thing for me to do is to somehow add snakes to the wig and maybe color it in more so it's more purple. Okay, so I'm walking to a dollar store, hopefully to find plastic toy snakes or something that I could like paint to look like them to put in the wig and snacks. They did not have snakes of any kind, but I got pipe cleaners, which have a fair amount of purple in them. I got three packs and then I got little googly eyes and I was thinking I could just make snakes and then like kind of twist them into the bottom of the hair almost. Um, did I get anything else important? I got fake lashes. <laughs> all right, that's all. Okay, so here we have the wig that I <laughs> colored with a marker. You can tell the back is not done, but that's fine. It's mainly for pictures anyway. And I'm starting to make the snake pieces that are gonna be like the top of her head. So this one, the body part of it is two pipe cleaners twisted around each other. And then the head is just one made into this shape. And I'm about to use Gorilla Glue and glue eyeballs on it. First snake, um, I use tweezers and Gorilla Glue to apply the eyes. And then I kind of just, if you can see, I twisted it into the hair. Um, and that seems like it should work pretty well. So I'm gonna do a couple more. I think I'm only gonna do two on each side because I don't know. They're pretty big compared to the wig and I don't want it to be like crazy. And also it's just like cute and low effort for me. Okay guys, the finished look is here. I'm gonna get my roommate to take some full body shots, but I'm really happy with it, especially with this. Oh my God, the fabric just looks so cool. I didn't film an outro, but let me just say thank you to all my subscribers, over a hundred of you, I love it. And to anyone else who's watching, um, more videos coming soon. I'm really trying to be more regular about uploading. So yeah, thanks for watching. Happy Halloween.